Hey everyone, a lot of you wonder how high elo players climb so fast in the lower ranks, and the main reason is they punish every mistake the enemy makes, and they punish it hard. When reviewing lower elo games, you guys tend to let the enemy get away with murder. They're making very, very poor plays and should die for it, but you just let them do it. So today, we're going to test your game sense and see if you can spot the mistakes from the enemy laner from three of my smurf games in gold. If you need more time for any other questions, remember to just pause the video as we're only going to give about 5 seconds. So let's jump in with our first game where I'm playing Jax vs Garen. At the start of the lane, we trade pretty hard with each other, both getting low. I have Corrupting Potion, so I have more sustain, but Garen's passive with Thorn's shield doesn't put him too far behind. With the push advantage, I hit level 2 first, crash the wave, and take a tower shot before going to Warden to River. The enemy Ivern ganks me at level 2, I escape pretty easily, but then get greedy and walk back in for another trade, losing a chunk of health. Now, we're going to let the video play what are the big mistakes Garen is making here. When I say mistakes, I mean game changing mistakes that will throw the lane. Alright, so you should have noticed two big mistakes. The first was right after he cleared the wave and went to recall when I was TPing back the lane. He should know I have to TP back so I don't miss the wave. He also has TP and he needs to make sure this wave crashes on the tower so it doesn't freeze. When I finish TPing, I grab the wave and pull it to the side and his recall still isn't finished. He could have just walked at me, forcing me to run to my tower since I can't fight him with this huge minion wave, but instead he finished his recall. This leads directly into his next mistake. At this point, because he let me freeze, he needs to TP to lane right away since his wave will now kill my wave and give me an experience lead that I shouldn't have. He actually has the lead right now because I got ganked and had to back away from the wave. But he doesn't TP and watch the blue wave. The entire thing dies. He lost an entire wave from this one mistake. An entire wave at this point in the game is a huge deal. If the wave is frozen, he has to TP back and crash on the tower. Alright, we're going to let the clip play for another 20 seconds and try to spot the big mistake he makes here. So you should have noticed right off the bat, he runs in with his Q, randomly using it on a minion. This is totally trolling, and is a very important simple concept in the laning phase, playing around cooldowns. With his Q down, that's one less ability he has to fight me with, so I know I can just go in right away. If he didn't do that, he would have been able to get his Q off on me twice in that all in, and it could have been the difference. But after that kill, I shove in the wave and reset to spend my gold. We're gonna let the clip play again, spot the big mistake. Alright, he already made it, and you should be able to tell just by looking at the wave. After he died, he's behind and shouldn't try to fight me, but he's not that far behind because he used his TP after dying, he didn't lose that many minions. The problem is, he started pushing as fast as he could, probably trying to crash the wave before I got there. In top lane, this doesn't work, the lane is too long. If you don't have a ton of wave clear, the wave won't make it to the tower before the enemy gets back. So when I get back to lane, he only has one wave of minions there to defend him. What he should have done was, last hit the entire time to slow push and stack up three waves together. This would have made it impossible for me to do anything to him, then he can just crash it safely and back off. But since he doesn't do that, I punish accordingly, going all in, right as I hit level 6. He starts running to his jungler that is obviously there, but it doesn't matter. I'm level 6 and they don't have the damage to kill me, so I get the double kill. At this point, I'm super far ahead on a champion that only gets stronger as the game goes on, and I can hard carry from here. We do want to make sure you're aware that these live action commentaries are available in full over at SkillCount. We add more of these every week and the best way to support us is by subscribing. We have over 800 guides, 100 courses, a refund guarantee, and a direct pro coaching service. So there's every reason to join us over at SkillCount.com if you're serious about improving. Moving to the next game now, I'm playing Dr. Mundo vs. Volibear Top. At the start of the lane, Volibear plays pretty well. He pushes with his passive to get the push advantage, then after crashing the wave, he invades my Eve at her red and blows her flash. This is good from him because by crashing the wave on the tower, it will bounce back to him so he's not missing anything right now. As the wave still pushes back, he even makes a play in mid getting first blood. Everything is great from him here. But now, let's let the clip play. What does he do wrong? This one should be very obvious. But after such a good start, he TP'd to bot lane because they were still fighting in bottom river, when he absolutely needed to TP to top to catch these minions. 
By the time he gets up here, the wave is going to be pushing back to me and he's going to be really, really far behind. He actually loses the entire game for his team with this one play because I'm going to punish this mistake extremely hard. How I do it is also important. So notice I don't use my TP to try and help that fight. I'm already getting a huge lead just by doing nothing up here and letting Volley throw the lane on his own. Darius comes top and flashes on me for some reason, but I can just walk away. Volibear dies in mid, so I'm going to let the wave push to me, denying him more CS while he's gone. I could and should recall here, but I wanted to get Bramble Vest on my first buy. Don't be like me and recall and TP back to lane here with an item advantage. But he's finally back in lane now at level 3 while I'm level 4. His wave is pretty big though, so I'm not looking to fight. I still need to clear this wave to get my huge lead. He just hit level 4, and now I hit level 5, with a ton of minions still to clear. So from the play he made earlier, I'm nearly two whole levels ahead. While I'm farming under tower, he tries to trade with me using his shield. And since I'm a whole level ahead and this minion wave is trimmed down now, I just go all in. After clearing the wave to reset and coming back to lane, I have my Bramble Vest and I'm level 6. He's still level 4, so as soon as I get there, I'm going all in. Like I said before, this lane was over when he TP bot, and things get really ugly from here. Even if he didn't try to fight me in his wave, I would have frozen the lane and denied him all of this farm, so he's just screwed either way. After killing him, I reset, TP in, and use the movement speed to run him down for another kill. Then his jungler shows up to try and finish the job, but I kite long enough for my ult to come up. And kill him as well, putting me at level 8 with 4 kills and the Volibear is still level 5. So this is what I mean by higher players will punish one mistake really hard. It just takes the one. Alright, let's move on to the last game where I'm playing Kennen vs Akali. Before laning starts, I assumed the enemy jungler would start red, so I looked to cheese Akali and try brush for a little bit of poke. What was the mistake she made here though? Her mistake was that she didn't try to trade with me at all. She needed to return some damage with her passive auto attack. That's why I started to run after hitting her a few times, but when I realized she was going to just let me hit her for free, I followed and got a lot more damage than I should have. After that, I start slow pushing the minions to build up a big wave while poking her with autos whenever she walks up. Look out for any big mistakes she makes here. Remember, that means lane losing mistakes. Did you catch it? It is crucial you spot the mistake here. When I hit level 2, instead of running back to her tower, she ran into the brush. Now, if I cut her off and just run diagonal towards her tower, she has no way of escaping without taking a lot of damage. So that's exactly what I do. I go in, use E and autos to stun, then she flashes but my last auto gets the kill, getting me first blood while she's still 0 CS. All it takes is one mistake and now I'm going to snowball this one extremely hard as well. First, I push the wave and reset, which is very standard. When I get back to lane, she has a big wave, so I can't look to trade too hard. At this point, what should I be looking to do? Some of you might be thinking to freeze, but that won't do me any good. I want to poke a Kali with my autos and my Q, but if she has a wave in front of her, which is required for the freeze, I'll take too much minion damage when auto attacking and they'll just block my Q. So I want to let the wave crash, then last hit to build up a big slow push wave like we talked about in the first game. Now, look at this massive wave I have. Because I slow pushed it, I'm going to hit level 6 way before she does. And at the same time, they're looking to gank me. With this big of a wave and the fact that I'm level 6, they definitely can't kill me. I just one shot the Akali, then auto down the Volibear for the double kill. If I didn't have the wave, I wouldn't have been able to kill him. After getting this big of a lead, all it takes is one good TP down to bot to flash alt and kill them all and really crush their spirits. And they forfeit at 15 minutes. Alright guys, so as you can see, all it takes is that one big mistake and you can hard snowball the game from there. There were no crazy mechanics involved in any of these plays, it was all just game knowledge. 
Let us know how you did and if you liked the style of video. But that's going to bring us to the end of this one. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.